going on, Bayfield World? Today I'm at a different spot that you guys are really not used to. I ain't been out here in a while, long while. But I'm back out here, guys. Started off um, today. Today, guys, I'm out here. I, I wanted to check out the cave. I wanted to check out the cave area to see what's going on. This is the place where I found the three toed tracks at. So far, I tracked in here. It's been pretty quiet. It's early in the morning. I wanted to get in here before the sun started glaring down where I couldn't see. But I'm in here. Let's see what all changed in here, guys. I really quit coming in here because of, of that gifting spot. Somebody came out, started coming out here and gifting them. So I kind of backed off. That sound was weird. So I kind of backed off and uh, there's an X lane there. I was going to show you guys, but I'll show you on the way out. But uh, ever since I found that gifting spot that somebody started gifting these guys out here, I just backed off and quit coming out all together. But now I'm gonna come in here and take a walk through and see what all changed, guys. Let me flip this around and show you guys what I'm working with, what I'm looking at. You guys have no idea. But right now, I'm just getting back in here. I wanted to get in here and check out the front, the front entrance before I go around back and climb up. I wanna see how this front entrance is holding up. I wanna be quiet too, cause it is still early in the morning. I might have half a chance of spotting something out here. Cause these fall leaves is making it hard to walk through there. They're all crunchy. <laughs> But guys, a quick update on me, I guess. Um, sorry about Friday Night Live, guys. Here's an X. Right up on that tree. Sorry about Friday Night Live, guys. Um, I was a little bit not feeling right at all. My chest been messing with me. So I just stayed in bed pretty much the whole day. Took, pretty much took off and stayed there in bed. I just, with my, the way my heart is, I just really don't want to push it. And take it easy as much as I can. And it started acting up Friday, so I just stayed in bed. It's giving me issues. I see rock on top of there, on top of water that shouldn't be there. Something took off over there. Rock pulled out of the ground here. That could be anything or anybody. Something up top. There's all kind of rocks flipped over all through this. Not one track in this whole puddle. Even out there in the middle, there's rocks flipped over, but no tracks going in. Something over there. Sound kind of like a critter. 
But yeah, they says it's a attention endangered species hibernating. Do not enter this hibernation site. As you see, they went through great lakes, lengths to keep us out or keep whatever in. Um, on this, uh, how did bats go and get in and out for one? <laughs> okay, that's my first question. My second question is, why didn't they just put bars across if they were going to keep us out so the bats can come in and out? Why did they put a whole sheet up on this side and a whole sheet up on the other side? And in between, they filled it in with uh, cement. You can see the cement falling out in other cracks. Now that's reinforcement. This is, and, and not only that, not only that, from one side to the other, they put big gigantic studs, a bunch of them. Them are all studs with nuts, nuts and bolts, bolting it together, holding it together. So, uh, and they only put it maybe 20 feet up. They didn't put it. Put them the whole way up. The bottom half only has them. I don't know, man. It seems like there's more to that than bats. They're protecting the bats. Why, why can't they get out right there? There should be slats there where they can fly in and out. And there's not. All the other bat hibernation that I know of, they have bars, they have slats where they can come in and out. We can't go in, but they can come out. You know what I mean? That just don't make sense. That don't match with the sign. That The actions don't match the sign. But we're gonna go down here and wrap around and see what happens, guys. Oh, back to me. <laughs> back to me, guys. I was feeling under the weather. My heart was messing with me Friday. So I didn't get a chance to get in the Friday Night Live. I wanted to. Because I got some great announcements coming up, guys. Beautiful announcements coming up that, man, I'm excited about. I can't wait to start. Um, I got the new position. I got the position at work. Hopefully, by the time this comes out, they would already announce it at work. If not, guys, it's going to have to be our secret until everything gets announced and I start training and I get in there. But I got the job, guys. <laughs> That made me so happy. I've been, like, there was a smile plastered on my face since they told me last week. It's been, my, my cheeks hurt from smiling so much. I haven't been happy, this happy in a long time. Guys, if you guys watch, I know 99% of you guys watch the movie Pursuit of Happiness. I feel like I live that in real time, man. And that's for real. I really feel like I live that in real time. Now that is a mud puddle. And that is a track. I'm not sure what kind of track, but it's nonetheless a track. But guys, I, I definitely lived pursue that happiness verbatim I mean verbatim from the, the time getting hard to the girl bouncing and to me struggling and fighting and starting over and then finally finally at the end I, everything pays off my channel's taking off I finally got the, the the management position that I've been fighting for I mean guys <laughs> It just don't get better. It, right now, I feel like it just don't get better. I really don't. So, I kind of feel like I'm on top of the world at this point. It's kind of a great feeling, man. Like a, a big raise. <laughs> a big raise. I mean, yeah. <laughs> On the downside, my landlord's selling the house. I might have to move, and I just don't care, <laughs> you know? It's just them little, little negative things. With everything good going on, it's just all the good things override the negative, 
and there's nothing that can knock me down at this point. I mean, it can. I ain't gonna say it ain't, but it's gonna take a lot. Other than that, <laughs> hey, we back out here squashing, guys. And that's another thing. With me taking this new job on, it'll give me more time out in the woods. A lot more time because I was working six, seven days straight just to make it. Now, I, don't, I can cut that in half. I'll be able to do that and spend a lot more time out here in the woods. Getting things done, guys, getting things done. But that's enough of that, let's get it going. I'm out of breath anyways. birds that was chirping just stopped chirping. This is something else. I gotta get up top there. Stack up ahead. It was a rock stack. attention out here guys like I said this is where I found two sets of three toed tracks I don't know what they belong to at this point I don't even care but I just gotta pay attention out here a lot of stuff's been grazing and laying out here, most likely a deer. Some telling me I went too far. I don't know, it's been so long since I've been out here. I might, I might have to backtrack. Let me see first where this is, what, what part this is over here. It's been so long since I've been out here. Something been laying very long. You can see where the, the, the top part going down and narrowing down into the bottom. The legs will spread out. This, this look, <laughs> I don't even want to say it, but it definitely looked like something. There's tracks here. There's a print right there, going over there, over there, heading that way. There's dig digging going on in that old dried up creek. A mud puddle. I'm not sure what that is. I think I went too far. I'm gonna go up over just to make sure. Like I said, it's been a long time. Six months maybe since I've been here. Too far. 
These fall colors are stirring me off. It is nice out here, it's beautiful. Try to get up top there, and I'm not climbing that mess. That's an accident waiting to happen. All them loose rocks. And it's straight up and down. Although something has been going up and down it. get a print some has been going up and down here it's too hard to see if there's any tracks and it's too steep for me to make that Definitely took a wrong turn somewhere, somehow. Don't ask me how, but I did. Glad it's getting cold. Cold, these snakes are and the bugs are going in. At the same time, I don't want to get on them rocks. Don't ask me, man. Let me get back down. This is the right way. Because that rock is in the tree right there. the last time I was out here. It's been hanging in there for a while now. That is a definite rock in the tree. <laughs> Not sure if it was thrown or set up in there, but the big guys put that in there. This don't make sense. With it. The only thing to do is keep it going. <laughs> keep pushing. Find another way. I remember this too, but it had water in it. I'm back on the right track, guys. I see their gifting area. 
has changed. And it seems like it's working for him. I'd like to know who's doing what. If they left this, if I might have to go back and check. But the bones, was this a gift from them? Because I see a couple of the marbles are missing. There used to be a pile of marbles, blue marbles in there. The Bigfoot stacks, is that, is that them? The stick is there at Bigfoot's at my other point at it. So, whoever started it, great job. Keep up the good work, man. I just like to know who's gifting, what's, who's, what size what, which is human, which is Bigfoot. But it's clearly that there's some interaction of both going on, which I don't, I wouldn't doubt that uh, at all. I'm not here. This place is so crazy. I've got hit here with rocks. Me and Fred both at the same time got hit with rocks. A lot has happened here. This is a very dark place. And I don't advise anybody to come here alone. As you can see, it's dangerous. That's all layered. Barely hanging. I'm gonna sneak up the rest of the way. foot trap whatever comes out them two little sticks right there is going to snap and all them heavy rocks are going to come down right there they put two sticks there and then piled it up with rocks I heard vocals up there Place is so open up. Authorized personnel only. That got ripped down. Just got a stump behind me. See, there's still a trail. There's a barricade. There's a trail coming in here. They're still coming in and out. Now, even though they put barricades across there, now that's what they should have did to the front, so the bats can still come in and out. That, that is hot air coming out of there. I mean, hot. Something happened in there. Something definitely happened in there. This place used to always be cold all year long. No matter what, it was cold. It'd be 100 degrees outside. It's like 50, 60 in there all year around. But something changed since they did this. 
the temperature is hot, very hot. But they can't get in that way no more. So what they did, over in this corner, they busted through. Oh shit, something was poking my leg. Something busted through there and they're going, dropping down in from this side. And then they took these rocks and lined them up to throw everything off. But they're still in there, which is a good thing. They still have a way in and out. Check out the next spot.